Imagine trying to book a taxi on your app and it can fly. Well, it is a plan. And this is what the vehicle will look like that arrives. It's an electric, what did we call it? Is it a helicopter? Is it a plane? The answer is neither, or rather both. This is VX4, an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, EV Toll for short, built by Bristol-based Vertical Aerospace. It's not quite the flying car from the Jetsons, but EV tolls are likely to be landing in a verti port near you in the not too distant future. When we talk about it being a flying taxi, you're comfortable with that because in the future you do imagine people calling up one of these instead of a car. Is that right? Yes. EV tolls can allow us to unlock the third dimension, to use air mobility to get from point A to point B. The VX4 will have a range of 100 miles and a top speed of 150 miles per hour. And it'll initially fly between airports and cities. So the inside, the interior, is designed to the same comfort and roominess of a London black taxi. So it takes off vertically like a helicopter and then immediately tilts the four propellers forward to a longitudinal, horizontal configuration so that it cruises like a propeller-driven airplane. But if it's billed as a flying EV, the first question that came to my mind was about the battery. I can't figure out how you can fit a battery in that that can be powerful enough. Oh, interesting. So it is extremely powerful. So it's the same amount of power as an EC-145 uh, twin turbine engine helicopter. It's also simpler, isn't it, in terms of engineering? Yes, yes. And that's what drives the low operating cost and makes it much less expensive to travel in. Conveniently, the UK's Civil Aviation Authority is already working on how to handle increased air traffic over urban areas. But you don't see helicopters crowding the skies of London, New York or Hong Kong. Why will EV tolls be different? Helicopters have not been able to uh, fulfill this big underserved demand for urban mobility. And that's largely because of the noise, they're not clean, they're very expensive to operate, and there's this perception of safety. So the VX4 and EV Toll will address all four of those. All being well, Vertical Aerospace plan to make and deliver 150 aircraft to clients across the world by 2030. A decade after that, an even bigger step. The next step would be the crew member would be supervisor and, and the aircraft would fly itself and then after that we expect it to be fully autonomous. We're going to get there. The UK has one of the largest aerospace industries in the world. The first jet VTOL was made here, as was the first commercial jetliner. Does that heritage help, I wonder? So we assembled our, our second prototype uh, in Filton. And if you look out the window, you see where the Concorde was born. And, and, and that's inspiring. 